Hi guys, Captain Glenwell here and welcome to another video back in my basement and here you see a vintage, uh, I think it's a, a Jürger or Jürger or uh, it's German uh, clock from the 70s and um, well you can see it's damaged here it's actually the paint has gone off here it's even plastic is molten and I'm going to take it apart so I'm going to show everyone how you take a clock apart to get to, to those uh, precious, precious gears. A few fun things to use. Um, oh, I'm going to show it how to do it with the things I have. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, um, basic materials pliers, pliers and well wrenches and I don't know you, you can see it's not um, very professional materials it's just the uh, yeah, basics I hope well I can feel that uh, one of the um, I'm gonna need something to put this in okay so um, maybe maybe I'll play this a little smarter Yeah, it still it still works. So hold it. And this is probably to make the clock tick. It still works. Can you hear it? Okay, so, um, but yeah, that wasn't actually the smartest thing to do uh, before you take a clock apart to um, to get it running again, um, especially that much. But let's start with this. And, ah. Because the more you... Uh, um, it back on on tension on um yeah the more you uh, turn the clock on well there's a spring inside there and you you yeah you um how do you how do, how do you say it you put tension you put tension on the spring so that's what I did now and uh, actually not a good idea I shouldn't have done that yeah you can screw everything out um, these things always have to be scre uh, screwed out the a different uh, the different direction than uh, normal screws if that makes sense so think of it as a, a bottle always have to turn hold the bottle and turn the bottle to left to screw it open if you screw it to right close it that's the same with every other screw this screw turn it to the right it'll go in turn it to the left it'll go out now these are the other way turn it to the left and it'll go in normally okay yeah ah. Yeah, turn it to the left and it'll go in, turn it to the right, and it'll go out. So, it's something uh, you'll have to know, or at least find out. I'm just doing this, I'm just finding it out on, on, on the spot, I'm just doing this uh, with a wet finger, um, like... I don't know how these clocks are, are assembled. I'm just trying something, so I, I don't really know how, what, where. It's all new for me too. Never seen this type of clock before. 
I just know it's uh, from the 70s because uh, before I take a clock apart I, I want to know if it's worth something and well this one is already broken but I still wanted to know if it was worth something and it's actually worth like what 10 bucks or something to, like yeah 10 euros max okay and now it's worth nothing there we go. look at ooh, the dust oh it's a small clock and you can see it it's 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 not big um, at all but it's it's nice how do you pull this happen with the Still turning. That's cool. <laughs> now, um, I love to see the mechanics, but uh, I, I I can never uh, well repair it or anything. I, I just love to take it apart. Oh, well. Oh, it's to change the hour. Well, that's a bummer. Now these are the, the dangerous parts, the springs. Uh, so um, the purpose is to take this plaque off and then while doing that not to get one of these ones in your eyes. That's the main purpose. So, uh, so we don't go blind or die. And this is all. Actually, I, I, I like this part. Really, I want it. There we go. Ta da! Okay, so the rest is rubbish for the moment. Maybe I can use the glass for something, but plastic is garbage. Let's put that away. And now we have this. Now it's still turning, still running. Maybe I can help it move a little bit faster. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, we'll just have to risk it, I think. I like these. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a rough guy, so I'm just gonna try it like this. I'm just gonna break everything. Oop. I have hurt myself before um, trying to take clocks apart uh, a lot, actually, like almost every time. But that's just me being too rough, too fast, too um, aggressive, and wanting to take everything apart as fast as I. This is just plastic, but. Being to, what the, ooh, seconds? Yeah, that's just me going too uh, too fast and too rough. So let's see what we do here. Actually, like actually like this. I'll see what I can do with it. Oh, this should turn. I can feel it turn. Um. Can we get this metal off? Can we get... Ooh, yes, this one is an easy one. Oh. Plastic gears, metal. Um, I think I can see how you need to... Okay, let's do this a little bit. Okay, now, if, if um, something happens, uh, please don't call uh, the emergency service because they're uh, busy doing other things. Okay. And here. Okay. Can we move this? Oh. There it goes. It's coming, coming off. Ooh. Yeah, you can see the spring just well jumped out. Well jumped out it, it it's 
loosened itself. Uh, this little, yeah, this one, no, that's just rubbish. So this one already jumped out, and this one is trying to, but um, can't completely get out. So ah, it's okay. Yeah, I've got them. <laughs> okay, so I was lucky that uh, that I didn't um, wind up the clock too much. So this one wanted to jump out and this one too, but it was okay, it didn't jump too far. Now, I don't know what this is, but I call it the whale. I love it. A few gears here. Cool. I have this flying wheel. Uh. Ow. <laughs> okay. See, that's what I mean with being too rough and too fast and too... A uh, small baby wheel. Gear, sorry. Bit of copper. And then we have these babies. This one came out, this one came out. This one comes out perfectly. Plastic gear with a bit of metal on it. And, well... Then you have these on the on, on the plate, but I don't know if I can take anything off. So this is just plastic. Oh, there it goes. Plastic. Little metal jumper. Uh, spring. <laughs> Sorry. This is... So it's plastic. Yeah. It's plastic. Little gear here. Oh, there we go. Nice decorative decorative uh, little gear. And this molding. Yeah. So I didn't even need these. Um, this went very well, so uh, yeah, one clock, one small clock, um, has uh, one small clock brought me two springs. Uh, this added the bell hitter. Um, it's just metal. Uh, no, it's just just plastic. So yeah, I don't know. The handle always fun. And let's see. So we have one big, big gear, slightly smaller gear, which just yeah holes in them. Um, yeah, look good. Then a uh, yeah, slightly smaller but beautiful gear, and these two small teeth these small uh, small cute gears uh, a flying wheel it's always fun to play with and uh, this flat decorative filled up gear and some trinkets these fun to use feet This cute little tiny little friend here. <laughs> focus, focus, yeah, focus, yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, the, the clock hands, little baby whale or Moby Dick, a spring, some nuts. Oh, this is plastic too. And then the full gear. So yeah, that's about everything you can get out of a clock. A small clock, that is. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.